Hello guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. So today, this this um, quality of the sound might be better this time. And also today we're gonna make a day night cycle. But right now there's nothing, no sky, no nothing. Just because of what? No. First we're gonna do uh, the blueprint class actor. Name it sky. And then add a uh, Atmospheric fog right there, and uh, everywhere will will have sunlight. Yes, but you see it's a little bit too bright, so we have to just have to decrease it. The the lighting thing, and then you, you can see the sun is here. Then what you're gonna do is add a skylight. And wait, why did I just type what I said? And directional light. Wait, let me uh, drag this uh, directional light. Okay, I think we're good. Just take those, put them here. No, we can't. Okay, now compile and save. Now, if you have um, like a moon texture. Like uh, what I have right now, I just have to import it. Go here. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm gonna leave it download in the description. The moon texture and the normal map of its texture. Import that and just press OK. Don't press revert because it will change the normal map. Now, right click on the moon texture. Create the material if you, if you want a moon. If you don't want, to take uh, this, you can just add, add um, like a, if you have like sci-fi games, just take it, make a texture or take one from Google, scale it and do what stuff. Okay, let's get to the texture. And I forgot to do something. Is to drag this here, the UV also. So it is quite simple. You will you will understand it quickly. Then put the normal map here. That's all. If you don't want to be shiny, one press one and then click. Give you a constant. Go to roughness and change this to one. I'm just gonna convert this to where is it? Convert to parameter. Now this parameter is color parameter. Now its default value is one. So if I, uh, I will call it like roughness. And now you have to wait a few seconds, and you will see uh, the moon finally appear. And here it is with its UV. If you don't want a UV, just do. I don't mind. Okay. And that's all you have to do for a moon. Okay, now if it's done, right click and create a material instance. This is where you can uh, change some parameters like the, its roughness. Now it's shiny. Look. Like that. Oh yeah, I forgot. You know that sometimes the moon uh, glows sometimes. It slightly glows. So what you, uh, if you want it to glow like a real moon, just just press M and click will give you a multiply. Drag this here and drag this at the emissive color. Then uh, press S and click to make another param scalar parameter which is that adds to the material instance. The the default value will be 0 0.1 and this will be the the emissive color opacity I just it's not important what you said what you write in it and I think that's all yes okay now you're d completely done you see this and where did I put this which one is material here 
now the emissive color appears here so this just uh, makes it modifiable editable you can change it to what to whatever you want and see, let me save this save all so I don't lose anything and now now we are done with the material you just I'm gonna add the sphere but not the sphere the material sphere you just have to any because uh, actually you can use any sphere you want anything that's spherical but I'm gonna use material sure because it's uh, high poly so it's better now scale it up make it really huge do you know how, how huge it should be? Really huge, really, really huge. Like that much. And I have to wait because it's, uh, it might crash right now. Okay, almost that huge. Bring it way far. Way, way far. Oh, now it's glitching. That's how far you need to put it. Maybe you can change mess up mess with this. Now let's see. Will the moon appear? Yes, here it is. But it's not textured yet. So what? Uh, so now, now we are done right now. So the compile and save. And here it is. The moon. Wait, I'm gonna pause recording and come back, okay? Okay, I'm back. I just forgot to close the door uh, because I, uh, I don't want to start about that. Okay, so here is the moon. And uh, for now we have the sky. Now we just ha need the rotating thing, rotating movement here. Now if you, if you um, compile and save and change the rotation rate, here to 180 and this to zero you might not we might have a good day night cycle wait 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 this should be minus because it's gonna go on reverse I think this should work right now yes it works let me decrease the speed because I can't see minus 10 okay this is a good one look it works right now. Where's the sun? Look. This is the easiest way to make the day night cycle. But um, I think this is way too bright. The sun, this direction light is way too bright. I'm just gonna make it 5. It's way better. Let me get back. And see if it's still good. Yes. Let me see, where is it? Yes, I think this this is good now, right now. But but instead, we should not. We sh if you want it like um good day night cycle, I made it like fast because um it's for testing purposes. So I'm just gonna make it like ten times slower. If it's not enough, I may um no problem. I know this is way too fast still. Make it minus 0 0.01 is the best one of the best one. If it still don't work, the best choice you should take is 0 0.001. Let me see. It's good. It's perfect. And I, I still don't know why this happens to the moon. It cuts in half. Wait, let me check something. Look at the sky. That's all from the sky. Now we just created the first, um, we created the day night cycle. You can like if you follow other tutorials of how to make clouds and just p place it there. You can still add sky box. Uh, let me try to put one. Sky, let me find the sky. Yes, yeah, sky box. How big will this be? It's too big. Add um, the sky texture. I think that's how it is. I don't know what it's called. Um, cloud. Not cloud. <laughs> stupid. I'm so stupid. Okay, engine content. Yes, here it is. 
Now, you, if you scale it up like big, you might see this. You will see the sky, but you won't see the moon. You just have want to. You have to make it like transparent because um, it won't be visible. So let me try do this. Really huge. I mean, really, really huge. I just think that's too huge. Um, um, because the uh, the horizon thing. It's, it's just because the render distance. I think. No, it's fine. Now, the. Wait a minute. Oh no. This blew my eardrums. Um I made a I think I made a problem. I may have made a problem. Um if you uh, if you had other things to do like make things like this, you can just modify it whatever you want. So that's that for this video. I hope you enjoy and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>